To how I know things for certain, the same way you do. Assuming a standard of morality which is above or outside of the Bible. And I'm saying outside of Scripture, you don't have a standard of morality by which you can judge those things. Now, these are great questions, but I don't do Bible studies with atheists. I do Bible studies with Christians who go on the authority of God's Word. And why, why would you not do a Bible study with an atheist? <laughs> because we're talking about God here. God. Yeah, but somebody why, who's given up but knowledge. Why God. would you not do a Bible study? I will proclaim the truth of Scripture to an atheist, but when somebody says, I can be wrong about everything I, can, I claim to know, I'm not going to study the Bible. Tell me how we're supposed to learn morality side from an immoral book. You know morality. What is your standard by which you call anything immoral? I know. Up in the scripture, if you're an unbeliever and you die in your sin, stick around. But, but the point is, you're, you're introducing <laughs> so you're standard. Based on what standard, Mr. Based Soberman? Based on my standard. And you could be wrong about that. No, I can't. Well, thanks for contradicting yourself yet again. Yep, that's me. Sorry, I have, I have no ultimate standard. So when you say that it's true that this is required, I'd like to know what is the standard by which you call anything true. Go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. You've given up knowledge. Sorry. <laughs> I'm done with you. It's the same way you do. Because we all know this God that exists. And you have to have all knowledge or revelation from a God who has all knowledge to know anything. Or you could be wrong about everything you claim to know. You do, you know do you know how I can know things for certain? And I'll explain this to you. And it's going to be you know, maybe a, a quite a big revelation to you. How I know things for certain. God makes us. 